only 440 foot home run he's hit in his career, and that swing against the Twins for Sands yesterday. How about this first swing? 105 off the bat, 27 degree launch, and he got a home run. First, I know. And it melted down the line. And now he's two for two. He goes 431 up to the glass windows in right field. There you go. The only right, left handed right. swinger in the home run derby yeah. field this season. Rutschman with a strong start and homering on his first two swings. And a slower pace, too, from that, Randy. We're seeing that pause, kind of holding the glove, giving him a chance to get set. The slowest pace that we've seen thus far. This was a little up the yank foul. Three home runs for Rutschman. That ball is very well struck for him. Lane is going to sneak out at 418 in right center. Here comes another one. Jess, I think you know that they're getting extremely deliberate, yes. right? Like he is trying to place it perfectly, which that's great, but at a certain point, you got to start picking up the fire and give the man a chance to swing. Well, there's definitely a set pace that he's trying to get to. Also, like how hard it is, you've seen some balls crush, but to get to that 440 mark, I just thought one in the first round, yet to see one here. That ball might hit the roof of T-Mobile Park. Good grief! Rutschman has hit some absolute blasts here. He's a minute 40 in, 430 a couple of swings ago, now 433. What a start this is for the eighth seed of the competition. Nine home runs, that ball tagged down the line, headed for the pole. Rutschman takes his timeout. That ball was right down the line with a minute 29 to go. seconds of the home run derby. Well, he's shown us, isn't he? I think he heard us talking about, oh, Robert's going to have the advantage in exit velocity. I think they just need to speed up the right now, because I think what you said is exactly right. When we compare how many pitches he's seen, I mean, Robert's going to I'm wondering if this would be a big I also love what you said about left-handed. <laughs> the fact that he's a switch hitter going left-handed, you saw that the numbers were greater, but you're also seeing advantage in that he is going with the wing. You've already seen with that 445 home run, just needs one more to get the bonus time. Yeah, and since we're talking so much about distance and we're seeing the lines coming from it, it's a good reminder that it's not necessarily about where the impact is. It's about what kind of the momentum it still has after. If you can hit the same spot, if you've got a long drive with heat behind it, that's going to have a longer distance than it's coming straight down the puck. Yeah, it's a protected distance for Rutschman. That one's protected at 401. This ball is tracing in the right center. 45 seconds to go. He's hit three home runs in a row. He's at 15. Still needs one more 440. That ball is demolished to center field. Rutschman, another high tower and drive in the right. 16 and counting. Look at the arc on these balls. Tattooing the second deck here at Tim Park. That was 424. He's still just shy of 440 with 20 seconds to go. That's a major uppercut. Not going to have enough to get out. 42 degree launch angle is a little high. 10 seconds. Did he get one more to 440? Did sneak one out at 367. 19 for Rutschman. Final swing of the round and Allen Rutschman annihilates it. He gets one more in just in case. He does not get the bonus time, but he puts up 21 with a big hug from his dad. And you heard him say it. We got more to go. Uh, how special is this? Uh, just him hugging his dad, that emotion. You can tell how much they have practiced this. And just taking a look at his swing. This was number 19. And just that beautiful ability to get underneath the baseball. See his front foot kind of bend over. But once he got into that rhythm, how about the last 15 seconds? And there are some voices you can hear in the background there. Zora's teammates. I couldn't tell if it was Pino or Batista, but somebody said, breathe, breathe, yes. breathe, breathe. This setup man and closer. By the way, how about the look for Randy Rushman? Has there ever been more of a dad look than wearing the glasses? 
on the back of the shirt? Catchers ever won the home run derby and a whole bunch of pride if Ana Rodriguez was the runner up in 2005. Salvador Perez the last to do it two years ago. Only one switch hitter has won a share. That was Ruben Sierra in 89. And now, are you kidding me? <laughs> He's going to grab right handed for the final 30 seconds. That's yes. just showing it's off. so cool. And his first right handed swing is a hundred off the bat. 32 degrees and gone. Look at all the kids in the outfield. All the ball strikers rushing to get over the left think, field. Think of the different muscles that you're using. I mean, like, just to be able to switch to the other side as you're getting tired, that back side, now it's your right instead of your left. He's already hit five in bonus time. He demolishes another. Watchman grants it. Final swing of the moon. Does it have enough? Yes, it does. What a show. Watchman from the left and right sides of the plate. The Orioles fans in Seattle are going to be absolutely bonkers and a whole lot more fans. Whether they knew Abby from the Pacific Northwest days or whether they have been converted in the last few seconds. Seven home runs in bonus time. 28 for the number eight seed who goes left and right. This is what's so cool to me. I mean, you saw him start it off with a left-handed swing and being able to get to the position and then switch around. And what I love about this is, first of all, it's a different swing for him. It's a straight pull, as you see. But it's also different muscles. No one else here can do what he just did. How many times have we seen somebody go left and right in the same derby? I have no idea. There haven't been that many switch -ups, right? I can't remember one. I can't say we've run And did they switch? Did they switch? I mean, that's the and thing. Did, well, and did they switch, right? I wonder how long did they plan on this? Was this like the very first yes. thing he and his dad talked oh, about? Oh, for sure. You could tell. And there's more coming. I mean, that's what he said. It was from the other side. <laughs> 28 home runs in 48 swings. Oh, the one seed is on the ropes again. Oh, to be the number one seed of the Derby. Five consecutive years it has happened since an Oriole was involved. Mark Trumbo and Luis Robert Jr. All right. As a mountain to climb here in Seattle. Well, we told you too, uh, you know, let's say conflicting things, right? The number one seed has lost a number of years in the row, and uh, the guy who hits the ball harder wins more often than not. Well, one of those things is going to be true, so we can say we were right about it either way, because Robert has the advantage in every stack-ass metric you can think of. However, the one is to be.